John Matthews. We know you were there when that man got shot. We can put you in his house within 10 minutes of the robbery. Yes, but I didn't shoot you anybody. You are lying. No, no, I'm not lying. I mean, I, I was planning on robbing the house. I mean, but I sure as hell didn't want to kill anybody. If you don't believe me, watch the tapes. You know that the power was cut to the house before you robbed it. I, I, I didn't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that, and I did not shoot anybody. Well, listen. Even if it wasn't you, you're still an accessory. Yeah, your buddy Rick is in custody, and he's been more than compliant so far. Oh, I'm sure he has. <sighs> Rick Lawrence. Listen, buddy, how about you tell us where you... It was John. It was John. You have to believe me. It was all his idea. Wait, hey, hang on a second. So you're telling us that John Matthews is responsible for the shooting? What? No. Not that I know of. The robbery was his idea. He, he dragged us into it. You gotta believe me. Listen, the robbery isn't our primary concern right now. You'll both have to answer for that when the time comes, trust me. But what we need to know right now is who is responsible for killing that nice, innocent man. Wait, in what? Hell. We didn't even get to go through the robbery in time. John didn't have the guts to do it. It, it all just fell apart when that crazy man came in. Hey, hey, hang on. Crazy? We're getting two very different stories here. How about you start at the beginning, Mr. Lawrence? Well, I guess it all began earlier that day. Rick, let me ask you something, man. You ever feel like you've never really done anything? I mean, technically, we're doing something right now, aren't we? No, Rick, I mean really done anything. Something worthwhile, something extraordinary, man. Well, we did go to Comic-Con last year, is that what you mean? No, Rick, not Comic-Con. I'm talking about something monumental. Something that we're gonna look back on in 10 years and say that is when life changed, man. I don't think I get you, bud. Look, Rick, opportunity only knocks but once, man, and we need to seize our moment while we are still young, man. Right there, Rick. Right there is our opportunity. You wanna buy a house? No. I'm gonna rob one. Uh, John, uh, I'm not so sure about this. Just keep your cool and follow my lead, all right? kidnapped earlier this morning. Can you tell us anything at all at this point about the suspect? Uh, it's early on in the investigation, so we don't have a clear suspect in mind. We're just looking at videos, we're talking to witnesses, and we're trying to get a name out there as soon as possible. This is a really concerning day for the people of Edmonton. Can you, can you tell us how we can help? Well, I understand the mayor is pooling his resources together. He's going to bring in as many investigators as he can to get on this case. But I think if Spider Mabel is out there and you get this message, if you can come down to the mayor's office and be a part of that team and lead us towards safety and getting our captain back. Again, a cry there for Spider Mabel's help. We will continue to keep you updated throughout the day right here on News Action 7. Recon. What? There's a guy in there. It's recon, Rick. We're supposed to find guys. We've only been here like a minute. Okay, listen. Keep your voice down. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna sneak up behind him. He's gonna give me his wallet. If he has a safe, he's gonna give me that too. What I need you to do, okay, calm down. Wait outside in case things go downhill, alright? Got that? Wait. Downhill? What does that mean? Rick! Hey, 
You... Get out of here! Yes, sir! sobbing. So you're telling me that this masked guy never showed up and that Rick is the one who pulled the trigger? That's exactly what I'm telling you. So why were there no prints on this gun? How should I know? He's the crafty little killer. Ask him. Look, do you want to know what really happened or not? Sure, why not? Okay, well it all happened months ago. We'd been planning this heist for weeks. The layout was perfect. Large house, only one resident, and best of all, limited security. I mean, the payout we figured would be between 15 and 20 uh, million. Oh yeah, this was the job of a lifetime. Money in the bag, cupcake. No point in anybody getting hurt here. Right away, sir. I mean, you are you are one intimidating and handsome individual. <laughs> Flag will be nowhere, Bub. I'm here for the cash. Hurry the hell up, you mother. Easy there, Rick. Just play it cool, baby. 
Screw that! This motherfucker's clowning us! Bruh! Ease it up, man! There's no need for all this aggression! Please, sir, I, I don't want any trouble. Here, just... just... take the money. <laughs> it was at that moment I knew that Rick had completely lost it. I mean, there was only one thing I could do, and that was to try and save a life. <laughs> no! Thankfully, the arm of the law was long enough to save one life that day, and we can only hope <laughs> that a hero like me will be there to save someone the next time a maniac decides to go on a bloodthirsty rampage. God bless this fine city. God bless America. What? <laughs>